It's been a busy day for pediatric cardiologist Craig Sable at the Uganda Heart Institute at Malago National Referral Hospital in the capital, Kampala. He has examined a number of children with serious heart ailments and overseen medical procedures on them, like four-year-old Victoria here. She'll hopefully outlive us all. Take really good care of her and make sure she recovers okay. This experience is nothing new for Sable, who has been leading medical missions here for more than a decade. Many Ugandan children are born with health defects such as holes in their heart, while others are stricken with rheumatic heart diseases in their youth. Sable selects patients for operations and serves as a consultant to American and Ugandan surgeons before, during, and after procedures. He has overseen about 500 open-heart surgeries on Ugandan children with a 95% survival rate, which, as he put it, is almost as good as it gets in the United States. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Okay? I think it's quite a good idea. So, we put the needle in here, dry out, and you get fluid. You undo your needle. You take this wire, you put the wire in, like you're in the cath lab, okay? I think the most striking thing to me is when I walk into the waiting room and see 50 to 100 children who I know if they were here they would get fixed and I know that we have a chance to help them. Ugandan cardiologist Twalib Aliku has learned a lot from his American counterpart. Basically he started the, the program when we couldn't do any surgeries on our own and we've reached this point where uh, we are doing many surgeries on our own as a country, so I mean, it's, it's just tremendous what is done. Sable says he will continue his efforts to modernize Uganda's pediatric cardiology system. My hope is they can transition from being a fledgling program that does a few heart surgeries to become a model for the region and other parts of the developing world that we can do meaningful research and innovative program implementation that other programs can copy and they can go from being the helpers to the leaders. The 52-year-old doctor still has time for his practice at the National Children's Medical Center in Washington, but he'll be heading off on his next mission to Uganda in July. Mike Richmond, VOA News, Washington.